day guys welcome back again Just put my dirty gloves back on right going again with the metallic swipe as I said I would in the last video my last mix was a little bit too thin just for metallics normally it's fine for a two to one mix for uh, swiping but metallics as I've said many many times they're different creatures and uh, they're much thinner when they're mixed up so I've gone one and a half times pouring medium to one part paint. And my pouring medium today is 70% Elmer's glue oil and 30% water. People are asking me what's the ratio. You can go 700 grams to 300 grams. You can go seven ounces to three ounces. You can go seven cups to three cups, 700 mils. 300 mils, it doesn't matter as long as it's 70 30. Right, um, in saying that, one and a half times pour a medium, one part paint, the metallics all seem to be different. The, the gold, I had to add a lot more paint to it, it was much thinner. The copper, I had to add a touch of water to it, so they're not exactly one and a half. To one that was a starting point and then I added water or I added paint depending on the thickness um, I wanted a little mound with these ones and my black because it's not a metallic I just did that as a normal two to one ratio and oh, this feels a tiny little bit thin what am I oh I don't know Let's add a tiny bit of black to it. I think that was left over from yesterday and it had a bit of water in it. Just add a little tiny touch of paint just to thicken it up a bit. Just so it's the same consistency as my metallics. So no oil in that one. Uh, this is just an old canvas that I've, I've scraped previously and then rather than have the distraction of different colours that had soaked into the canvas. I've just painted it with black this morning and let it dry, almost dry. A little bit wet there on the sides. Uh, so I'm just going to put two drops of silicone oil in each colour except the black. If you saw my last pour you'll, you, you'll see that you know I had that explosion of cells and it was because my mix was too thin. As I told you guys, if your mix is really thin, you're gonna get a lot of cells because it's much easier for the oil to come up through the paint when it's thinner um, and your cells will get much bigger. They will bump in together, they get out of shape. So hopefully I won't have that this time because two reasons. I've got a thicker mix and also I've cut down on the oil just a touch. So hopefully it'll be all right. And you know how I said the copper really took over last time? I've just made up a little bit less copper. That's the rose gold, that's the copper. So a little bit of the less copper because it really takes over. Okay, so my middle, I think again, is gonna be about there. It's just a little guide for me, roughly. It's not exactly straight, it doesn't matter little guide as to where I'm going to put my black in the centre. I'll swipe down, I'll swipe up. I've got my uh, paper towel ready to swipe down onto just to keep things a little bit tidier. Um, just to go a little bit quicker this time, let's just do this, hey? Spread the paint like that. This is the rose gold going down. It is about two parts gold to one part copper is usually what I do for that one. Lots of gold in because I lost it last time.
when the metallics are still wet, they don't look very attractive. They just kind of look yellow and orange and a bit pink. It's not until they dry that you'll see them come into their own and really look pretty. So at the moment, you know, it just looks kind of orangey. Yeah, not the best. But it won't stay like that. I'll show you uh, the dried painting in a few days when it's all dry and shiny. That is if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll scrape it and I won't show you at all. Well, I'll show you the video, but I won't show you the dried product because there's no point in me keeping a, a pour that I'm not happy with. Because I don't want to have to store it. I'd rather just get rid of it if I'm not happy with it. overlap the colors too much because I want to be able to see the actual gold pop through and I want to see the copper pop through so I don't want them all to be too blended at the moment once I swipe they will get blended but I don't want them all to blend too much now because then it'll, the cells will all just look the same okay so little pops of this cream here and there, metallic pearl it's called, it's a really pretty colour. Again, don't need too much of it, there and there, okay, now um, do I want to put my black on yet? I'll put a little bit of black in the middle just so that the whole area doesn't just close up when I tilt. And then I'm going to zigzag the black a bit so that I can get, I'd like a little bit more black through here rather than just metallic. So I want some more black. So I'm going to, I'll show you in a minute after I've covered my my canvas. See that's tipping a lot better now isn't it? Can you see the difference? Hopefully you can. The last one the, um, the paint was really really slow to to move around. Uh, slow. It was really fast. It just slipped right off. So this is much better now. I can feel that it's a thicker mix. Just going to push that over the edge. left go this way next over you go it feels almost as thick as a, a flip cup paint it's, it's not that thick but it feels it if your paint is really, really bubbly, frothy when you mix it up, you've got a pretty good chance that your mix is on the thin side. If you mix it up and there's hardly any bubbles, it's probably going to be quite a thick mix. Now I just want this to go over the, the bottom there. Not too fast if it doesn't all go over because when I swipe down there it'll get covered anyway. I've got my puppy piddle pad underneath there because this doesn't have any support in the middle so I've just folded up a puppy piddle pad to put in the middle to stop it from sagging. Now 
and that little bit of white there that's just to encourage the paint to to go over the edge down there over it goes you can still see there's quite a lot of paint on the surface it's still moving well Thick. It's kind of making a, made a bit of a mound, which you don't want. There we go. Better than nothing. It'll just stop it from sagging too much. Okay, so now that's all covered. Um, now my black. This is what I want to do with my black. I've got a little bit more here. And now I'm going to start... zigzagging like so and hopefully I'll get some more black to come through and then I'm also going to put just a, a little thin strip of black there just like that doesn't look very attractive at all does it all right, but as I said, I do want more black to come through. Righto, let's do this. I've got my two plastic sheets, my little document holder that I've cut up. Um, now I do want to catch the black, so I'm going to kind of come on a bit of an angle. Actually, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do the bottom half here where it's a bit lower. It's the problem with adding your black on um, beforehand and <laughs> you lose your line and I like my line. There we go. I'll just do a bit of an angle like that. It'll be all right. Okay, off we go. Oh, that's good. See how I've got that little bit more of a black there and then it's lighter there and it's darker there. That's what I was hoping to achieve from these. So I'm going to turn that plastic over. Now, how am I going to do this one? I'll have to do it in. Oh. It's much better if you put your black on afterwards, it really is, otherwise you lose your line. There we go. Let's have a little bit of a, a black line there to pull my paint through. Losing that lovely cell that I had there. Hmm, stripies. Um, not sure how I feel about that. No, don't really like that. Let's go again with some black. Not enough black there, I'm afraid. Touch the black and back down we go. That's better. I prefer that. See, it's more of a, a darker um, overall look there. Uh, this one, I would prefer this to be a little bit darker. I'm going to just use my card for that one. Put this bit of plastic down because it's done. Just got this little card here. 
and I'm just going to go over this middle bit here where it's a bit too yellow for my liking, too gold. All right. Sarong keeps falling down. It's a hot day today. <laughs> I've got the air conditioning on, but I've just got my sarong on and it keeps falling down. No, you guys don't need to know that, do you? Oh, just as well you can't see the rest of me. There we go. Turn it round. Now move this little bit of paper out of the way that's got paint all over it so that I can then swipe down with a clean catching area there. Right, so um, I just check my, my black again. I want to make sure I've got enough black just here. So there's quite a lot there. So I just want to make sure I've got enough here. I just find I get a better result from having more black on the surface. And then I'll go and touch up my sides with black later on. Because so I think that looks really pretty too. Now can you see the difference already? Like I'm hardly getting any cells up on their own. Uh, at this stage last time, I was getting a lot of cells up already, wasn't I? All right, touch the black. Off you go. Just go slow. It's not a race. Take your time. And you wipe that down there into your clean little bit of paper towel. Turn the little plastic over. And go again. No, I'm being pedantic, aren't I? Never mind. Make sure you overlap your plastic. Good contact and then go. Wait till you've got good contact on your black there before you head off. Don't just drop it and pull. Okay. I'm happy with that. Oh, I hope these cells are going to be good. It looks promising. It does, it does. Now, I'm just going to put a little bit more black in the middle because I like my black centre. Just give it a bit of a clean break there with the black. And a little bit of black on the sides before I start torching. Let that run down. So you can do it now or you can wait until your painting's dry and then paint your sides in a corresponding colour if you want to. Or you can do it now like I am. I do like to have the black sides. It's kind of balances the black centre and it sort of gives the painting a, a frame, I think. And while you're doing this, you're just waiting for any cells to pop up if they want to. don't have to, have to madly rush for the torch. Just let it do its thing while you're doing the sides. See what's going to happen. And uh, if your mix is really quite thin as it was last time, for my metallic pour, you will have got lots and lots of cells already popping their little heads through. But now that the mix is thicker, the cells are going to need a hand. I need a bit of a helping hand to get through and that's where the torch comes in. Heats the oil. Oil obviously wants to come to the surface because that's what it does, oil and water. The oil rises to the, uh, to the top and it brings the colours through with it, making our cells. That's the science behind it. 
All right, let's do this exciting bit, shall we? So, so far I am happy. Now I'm gonna go up high, not too close. I'd rather go, because they're probably gonna jump out. So I'm gonna go just around once, and then around here once, and through the middle, and wait. See what's going to happen. So what I'm expecting is the cells that come up, uh, hopefully they'll be a nice shape and a nice size and then over the next, I don't know, half an hour or so, they will grow a little bit more. So I don't want to over torch them because I know that these metallics are going to stretch. Okay, so that's pretty good for the first torching. These, some of these cells are just beautiful. Okay, second torching. As I said, don't go crazy torching because nothing's happening. So just don't go, oh, over it and over it and over it and over it because then they'll all, you know, a minute later they'll all be there and then you'll have over torched. So just wait. And like with my flip cups, I like background. So see this here? You've got these sort of black streaky bits with streaky copper coming through it and then a splash of cells. That is gorgeous. I love that. That's the kind of look I personally like for my swipes. I don't like it when it's too busy, I really don't, and all the cells, you know, bang into each other. That metallic one that I did earlier, it's just under the table here, I'll show it to you. The cells have kept growing a little bit. See how they're all banging into each other and they're all wobbly and there's hardly any background at all. So that's what I'm trying to avoid with this one. All right, let's torch again. So I'm getting a little bit closer this time, just because it's not being that reactive. So a little bit closer. Go around the middle again. Okay, so what's that? That's number three. streak of gold coming through and there's look there's a kidney two little kidneys this one looks like a teddy bear little ears in the middle they're kind of like gack cells aren't they where they join together like that a little threesome happening here I don't use gack I, I don't know that we can get it in Australia never looked actually all right I'm going to torch it the middle's quite thick so that's because I had a lot of black there. And then obviously as I've drawn it through, the black's thinned out. But in the middle, it's quite thick. But I don't mind that. I, I don't really like that in the middle there. I'd prefer if that was just plain black. I may actually dig that out with a spoon and cover it in with just plain black. Just waiting, waiting. As I said, I haven't used this metallic mix before, so I'm not quite sure what it's going to do. So far, I'm happy. I much prefer this over that previous one where the cells are all wonky and banging into each other. Um, the little ones will continue to grow. seeing if 
there's anything under this black here. So as you're getting used to the thickness and the height that you can torch at, you know, next time you might want to go a little bit closer. But in saying that, I went closer there and then I got a little cluster happening, a little colony there. So I do want to scoop that out. I don't like that. That's where I sort of picked at it and lost my cell shape. I'd rather have it black right in the centre rather than that sort of a wobbly cell look. So I'm going to use a little tool. I've got a hair stuck to me. Get away. I'm going to use this little tool. It's tricky to do this because I could ruin it and like pick it out and then fill it up with um, black again. Well, there's something happening under here. Little tiny ones happening under there. probably enough torching um, it's getting it's getting quite busy and the cells that are here will continue to grow like I said they will grow so you have to allow for them to expand um, and then they might start bumping into each other so there's a little cluster here little cluster here um, yeah I'm gonna leave it like that I'm gonna scoop out my center and uh, I'll show you another day when it's dried. I'll take you in for a close-up. You can have a look at these pretty cells. They're really pretty cells. Um, I'll show you the blue one that I did the other day. This one, this one was a two-to-one mix. So much bigger cells, but not quite as loose looking as the metallic that I did this morning because the these paints aren't as runny so we've kind of got three different ones this is the medium one the this is the one with the smaller cells and then the one I did this morning are just the cells are just way too loose so it gives you the the difference in the, the thickness or the consistency of the paint will determine the size of your cells okay so if you're wanting big cells, have a thinner mix. And if you're wanting smaller cells, have a thinner mix. As I said, this is based on a one and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. Uh, but they will keep growing. So I don't want to torch them anymore because I know they're going to keep growing, getting bigger. How cute are they though, hey? They're really nice looking cells. So if you have trouble getting cells from Fip Cups, you can always have a go at swiping. The little kidney cells and I'll go up the top there little gold ones floating in the black space there let's move over a bit to the other corner see that row of gold ones how they've kind of all um, joined together. They were separate when I first pointed them out to you and now they've grown in the last five minutes that we've been I've been chatting. So there you go. Pretty pretty. Alright I think that's about it and I will leave it there. And uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.